Hello everybody and welcome to Game Guy Z installs Peapod MC's texture mod for Demi Cry 3 HD. Now, oh, oh, since I uploaded my texture mod series on DMC3, people have asked me how to actually install the mod. I gave a vague written description of how I remembered to do it. Since then, someone asked me to make a tutorial video on how to do it because they're having trouble. Which led me to try installing the mods myself with a pre-mod file. And yes, it can be a bit of a pain now. But I found all the necessary files and right now I'm going to show you the difference. The game pre-textures so you can compare later that the textures have actually installed. So the best one I think to do this is the first time you meet Jester in Mission 4. So, there'll be black bars at the top and bottom of cutscenes. The texture of the door will be vastly different, and also Rebellion here will also be quite different. That's all you really need to see of that cutscene. Then you go to mission 17. I think it's best for showing this difference as well. First off, I think there's also motion blur here. Which may or may not be gone in when the mods are installed. I think they will be. But more notably, this fog texture here that's going across the screen to the left will also be gone. Not the outer one there, but yeah, this one. And also, if this menu still looks like this, then something is still wrong, yes. Now, in saying this, the fog and the menu issue may still be a thing uh, when we do the second, when we start getting up the second time, but after a third time it should be fixed. So, get back into the void. Ah, right. So first things first, you need special K. Um, that's the thing that's going to be installed in these mods. So you get the test version, you get the installer. Uh, this is how you, how Special K will install the mods. So I'll do, I'll be doing this part as well myself. Uh, take note, you will be using DirectX 11, so you have to name the file DXGI. So that's one for. So this is Peapod's MC MC's link to the texture pack which will be 3.5 gigabytes, which is on tapatalk.com. This is this direct link. And in the how to install and require files, this is a different page. Yeah, see, it's slightly above the texture pack link. So the two separate pages that these mods are on. You'll be getting the MBZ file which I'm not sure if you need, but it's probably best to put it in. And you'll need the H, Windows 8 to 10 file, which unfortunately actually is no longer here. So what you do need is uh, someone else luckily uploaded this. And yeah, you need the Windows 10 required files and you unfortunately, unfortunately, since it's down here, you actually do need to get these files to get the uh, mods working properly or else there could be issues so s to speed up the process I taken out the mods but I'll still show you what I got so uh, yeah I'll see you install special K so click next accept the agreement install uh, it also asks you to install Visual Studio C++ with distributables and it may ask you for permission to actually install the app and run at your own risks kind of thing. So once that's done, that's fine. Then I have this I have these open already. So you have this SK res which is the text, this is the texture pack, this is the 3.5 texture pack. Yeah. So I took these out ready to save much, a lot of time. So you'll drop this directly into the main folder 
where all the exes are. Uh, this is the only one I pull. No, there's two that I actually need. But this is the only folder you need to drop directly here. And if you place the MBZ file here, or the Windows 10 did not really need the word what's in the Windows 10 file is needed here, but we'll save that for later. So you just need to drop the textures in here. So with special K, if you just install it in your desktop, you just go open file location, but it'll also be in this PC documents, my mods, special K. What you need to do is you need to copy the special K 64 file. So you'll copy that. You'll go back to the HD collection with all the EXEs. You'll paste that and rename it the XGI, which is a substitute for the DirectX 11. So now we restart this. As I said, we're going to start once and then we're going to, there'll be new files that come in, which we should fix, but you'll see the differences. Now, I believe this may cause some issue. It doesn't? Okay. Okay, no. Okay. Now this can cause some issues. Don't press anything when DMC, any of the DMC games start. You have to give them time for some reason. So I'll take that in and out. Press OK. So I believe now the textures will be in, but there'll still be some problems. Are not some problems, I guess they're just minor things you may want to change. So, yep, all the textures have been rechanged, and obviously, you notice that the tour is very different. That's why I chose this one. And again, with Rebellion, also quite different. But the black bars at the top and bottom of the screen are still there, still present. And if you go to mission 17. It still is motion blur. Yeah, the fog texture is unfortunately still here. And so is this grainy menu. Which is where the Windows 8 to 10 files unfortunately came in. So now that that has been set up. We are now... Is it? Yes, it is. We now take all these files out. And I'll double check this to see if this is right, but I believe this is right. Take all the files out and replace, yes, replace them in the destination. Now, for the MBZ file, you cut it, you go into data, DMC free, and then drop it in here, and you'll replace the one that's currently in there. So, one final time, we'll start up DMC free. So you drop the Windows 10 files directly to where the EXEs are. Yeah, and then it, yeah, see, it reverts the special K injector back to the previous version. So that's something I just noticed myself. And obviously, again, don't touch anything while Demi Cry is trying to load its games. Because every time I try to touch something while it tries to load something, it screws it up. Even if I, you react too fast at this, it can crash the game. Always be aware of that. Demi Cry 3 can be prone to crashing during load times. Okay. So once again, 
Well, actually, no, we can go straight to mission 17. So, top and bottom bars are now gone. Grainy menu is now gone. And finally, the fog texture is now gone. I believe he said you can re-enable that, but it, it honestly just looks so much better without it. And that's it. If you have any questions, please post them below. And this has been Gengai Z. Installing Peapod's MC. Peapod MC's Dead May Cry Free Texture Mod. If you have any questions, as I said, post them below. Thank you all for watching. And this is Gengai's. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And this is Gengai Z. Turn off his PC. See ya.